All right, what's poppin'? Uh, so today I wanted to talk about something that I've been seeing a lot of recently, and it's not like a trending topic like all the other stuff. Usually for my videos, I just go on Twitter and look at trending, but this time uh, it's something that I wanted to talk about from the commentary community, the group that I'm in. So this video is about a YouTuber and a commentator named John Swan. John Swan is someone who has been in a lot of controversy. He's been caught lying at least three times. His biggest lie and drama was against the Minecraft YouTuber Dream, where basically John trolled this other commentator uh, pretending to be dream and said a bunch of racist stuff and then pinned it on his fake autistic cousin and said that dream was lying about it all when in reality he wasn't then john was involved in a document to try to expose the small commentator cammy basically saying that he's a predator and that he groomed this girl when in reality he, he really didn't and john said he had no involvement when in actuality all he did was edit it add some portions to the document and hyped it up in dms and basically curated the entire thing there's a bunch of other stuff like with pie man who is a whole case i don't want to get into there's just an insane amount of layers and layers that just goes on throughout years but recently after a long break john has come back to uploading he has made two videos at the time of recording this and they've done decently well a lot worse than the amount of subscribers he has and all that stuff but ultimately his channel is pretty dead now the real question i have is why is his channel dead when other commentators like turkey tom have done stuff like this not to the extent same extent but still have gotten to major controversy and, and turkey tom has come back a million times better than he was before the controversy why does it work for him but not john swan well the obvious case is, is the third time that's happened even then there's a bunch of commentators who have gotten into massive amounts of controversy and still come back again and again and again like someone like i'm alex he's been in an insane amount of controversy there's hundreds of videos against him but he's still kicking he's still pulling hundreds of thousands millions of views he has his own game show or something it's it's kind of crazy so why why can't John Swan get the same treat? Well, I have a few theories. If you compare what happened to the Turkey Tom against John Swan, you can see an obvious difference. Turkey Tom did is he made a video on the pyrocynical allegations and it came back to bite him and he lost so many subscribers. He passed 100,000 so many times, but he took a break, came back, started uploading again, boom, explosion. Why is that? Well, my theory is because most of his audience is mostly involved in the commentary community and his own community, the Turkey Tom community, as opposed to John Swan, who's audience is purely in the commentary community as he doesn't have his own fan base he doesn't have his own supporters everyone who watches john swan is in the commentary community so when turkey tom got in trouble and he started uploading again all the pyrocynical fans that were hey watching him or enjoyed him and unsubscribed left but his main core audience and the commentary community was still there but when john swan uploads again his core audience doesn't care about him and they know what he did my second reasoning as to why he hasn't recovered at all is because he just got out of a major controversy also see unlike Turkey Tom, John Swan uploads very sparingly. Once every month, once every couple months, around that time period. Last time he got into controversy, it was with Dream, and this time it was with Cammy. And most of the videos in between that time were not the usual John Swan quality. It was just random stuff going on the internet or or just recaps of why Mixer failed. But the only video that was really successful around that time period was the one he made on Technicals. During this time, Technicals was in a lot of controversy, and that was kind of his massive break back into the community but that was around six months ago that's not long enough for people to forgive you it takes time and dedication and six months is a long time but he hasn't done much in those six months to really make an impact and make people forgive him or make people forget about what he did because what he did wasn't just a silly video that he made like turkey tom what he did was lie to his closest friends online put their necks out there to defend them that shit doesn't go away i honestly don't think john swan's ever gonna get to the point where he was in 2020 2021 i think that's never gonna be where he is his newest video on a channel that has over a hundred thousand subscribers is only at 9.9 thousand views and it's after a day of uploading and his other video his massive comeback video is only at 19 thousand views and that's with every big commentator talking about it and it's only been seven days since it was uploaded i think his career is done and i don't understand why he's still uploading he could just go back to doing his courses for the people that still pay or try to get a job doing something else because he is a really talented the editor so he should try to do something with that besides making these random videos on a channel that's basically dead but anyways i just want to make this video kind of expressing my thoughts and my opinions on why i think john swan's channel is dead and not going to come back i know it probably doesn't mean anything and it doesn't matter in the grand scheme but i thought it was interesting to think about and talk about and if you have any opinions or any theories of your own why his channel is gone and why he doesn't have the same kind of comeback as someone like turkey tom please let me know in the comments but if you've gotten this far or if you watched at 
at all. I really appreciate you watching this video and uh, giving me the time of day. If you have any opinions or you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Sorry about being lazy. There hasn't been much going on, and I've been really busy and sick still somehow. Have a good day. I really appreciate you. See you next time.